So how would you teach somebody to ollie? Shit. Okay. <laughs> so you put your foot on the tail. The back part of the board is the tail. Uh huh. Is that good direction? Uh, you probably want to slide it back a little bit into the pocket. <laughs> All right. Let <laughs> me get in there. He has the one. You got it. Oh, shit. Welcome to Shirley's Temple. I'm so excited. We got one of the most well-respected skateboarders to ever do it. Has the most, most unique style. King of the most technical tricks. We got Nick Tucker in the building. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that intro. That was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bro, you are Damn. like, I'm like shook. I, I just want to know that. how you jumped that high. I got some long ass legs, first of all. Is that it? <laughs> I'd be like. Nah, I'm, I don't know. I just, I just jump. Like, like just watching you jump over a fire hydrant and then a bench. And I'm just like, this is like defying gravity. <laughs> this is crazy. Got to stay the most high, you know? Facts. Speaking of, you see this beautiful uka right here? Yeah, that thing's dope. So I'm going to give you a tip. Cheers. This is uh, the first ever cannabis hookah. I'm telling you, this is a game changer. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. It's going to get a stone? It is. That's all that matters. Right, exactly. Because <laughs> I know you like to smoke. Like a hookah, huh? It is. It's, okay. it's amazing because... The flower is in these pods, uh -huh. and all you do is put it in, hit a button, yeah, wait a few party. minutes, and it's ready to go. Wow. Literally. The no age microwave. No charcoal, no mess, literally. And they have, yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. And I just smoke. Yeah. 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 Do it's you ready like. Ready to go? Mm hmm. Right? Very nice. Big hit with a little amount of smoke. Mm, like right? It. Very subtle. Do you did you ever yeah. like hookah? I I pull a hookah, yeah. For sure. I might rock with it, yeah. yeah. I think this is a little a little dope though. Right? Yeah. I feel like it's the future. For sure. It's amazing. Um, but how's your day? How's life? It's been amazing. Life's good. I woke up today. Back. Um today's been amazing. We, you know, we just we've been out and about running errands. We made our way down from the valley, uh popped into here. Uh had a few meetings, um, and then yes. after after this, we're gonna go skate. So it's been an overall productive day. I love it. Already, yeah. Where are you skating? Um, we're just gonna go hit a skate park and maybe, uh, depending on how that goes, if we're feeling it, probably go check out a skate spot. Nice. Yeah. Do you have Around a downtown. favorite video park? Damn, all time favorite done? video park. Yeah. Uh, the Yeah Right video, just as a whole, girl skateboards. Made a video called Yeah Right. Um, Eric Costin had a part in it. Nice. Paul Rodriguez. I mean, there's a lot of, there's too many to name. I know, right? Yeah. You have so many. Yeah, there's too many to name. What, what do you feel when you skateboard? Uh, I can answer this question like this. The reason I started skateboarding was kind of like, not a, a mental escape, but more so just like, uh, it was like on my own time I could skate. I didn't need a coach. I didn't need um, any type of uh, rule book or anything like that. Right. So I started skateboarding for that fact of like, I have the free flowing feeling of just going and skating. I can go outside and just mess around and, and un, un, uh, just unwind, you know? For sure. Yeah. You were what, 11? I was 11 and a half, yeah. Nice. Damn, yeah. That's so young. Mm -hmm. What was a Nick Tucker like growing up in San Diego? Growing up in San Diego? Um, I was just a quiet little kid, man. I was real shy. Um, I just kept to myself. And I wanted to, all I wanted to do was skate. Like skateboarding took over my life. I have skate life tatted on me, so it really Where? took over my life. I have skate life right here. Nice, nice. When did you get that? Uh, I got this in the Philippines, like, um, 
probably like 10 years ago now. Wow. Yeah, I was with my friends. Uh, we were on a super skate tour, and uh, Keelan Dad was actually there. He's here in the background. Hey, but shout out. It's my homie dog. in the building. Hey. Um, <laughs> and so we were in uh, the Philippines, and uh, we got an opportunity to get tatted by Manny Pacquiao's personal what? tattoo artist. Yeah, someone from the crew knew this guy, and he ended up coming to our hotel and just, like, hooked us up. And so I got skate locks. I didn't know what else to get. Uh, how old were you? <laughs> oh, man, that was years ago. I don't can't really tell you. Maybe, like, he could tell you whatever he is. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it, was a, it was a few years back, though, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Because I saw you, like, started traveling hella young. Yeah, I've been so fortunate to, like, I got sponsored at a young age. And right. And yeah, I just kind of took off. Didn't you start working with Diamond at, like, 12? Yeah, uh, Nikki Diamond started sending me stuff when I was, like, 13. That's so I was only like a couple years into skating and this dude saw whatever he saw and hooked me up. Yeah. You were like the first diamond commercial? Uh really? I don't know if I'm the f- Oh, okay. I, I think I'm like the third. Okay. I think it was like Nija, Nigel Houston, Boo Johnson, and I think myself. Crazy. Something like that. Yeah. How did it feel getting sponsored so young? Um it was cool because I could hook my mom up with clothes and right. I could hook her up with shoes. We wore the same size shoe at the time because I was so small. <laughs> uh, and I was starting to get paid a little bit. And right. so I was able to help her out, you know what I mean? Take care of some bills around the house and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it just, it, it helped, helped me grow up realistically. For sure. Yeah. How proud are your parents of you? Uh, my dad is really um, proud of me. Uh, it's crazy because like, in the beginning, he wasn't. He was. He's like a military guy, so he, yeah. you know, go to go to school, go to work, do it the traditional way, da 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 da. But then over the course of the years and stuff, me traveling, getting sponsored, going pro, da, this that and the third, he kind of opened up to the idea, and he's actually real, real super supportive, and he's been the most supportive he's ever been. Yeah. So it's, I'm so fortunate. And my mom, she's just been down for me. Whatever I got going on, whatever I want to do, she's all for it. So. That's beautiful. Yeah. I was gonna say because I think I saw your dad. You guys lost touch for like ten years or twenty. Years. Yeah, you did your research. I did because that shit is like that should affect. No one you. knows that. That's crazy. Right. I've never talked about that. Really? One. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because um, you know, surely I'm about to focus on mental health. So I was just thinking that yeah, has to have affected you. No doubt. Um, it definitely. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's it's different for everybody. For me, I definitely could have took the route of like oh, man, this sucks, like, and just, like, oh, my, 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 I only got my mom, my dad's not around, like, whatever it was, like, oh, maybe I'm not good enough or whatever, but I kind of use it as a fuel for the fire. For sure. Like, I just stuck with my mom, and we rocked, and, you know, I, I progressed in my career and stuff, and then, um, and then, yeah, so I just kind of use that as the motivation, and then I did what I was able to do, and I was able to show him, hey, look, and so it, it all worked out. What was the reasoning? Why did you guys do, like did you did your parents separate? Um, uh, my mom and dad, yeah, they they uh ended up separating. They just had their differences, and I ended up going with my mom. Um, I was a mom before, right? And uh, and then so I just got real close to her, and then my dad just kind of did his own thing, you know. And uh, and then years later, we we got back together, and I had like a board and showed him my first ad and. Wow. He's like, oh, you're like really doing this, like, oh, I can, I see now, I see now. So, Damn. it's been great, yeah. Who reached out? Um, I did. I had this contest in San Diego, and I was just like, you know what, it'd be cool for you to come, just check it out, yeah. and just see like what I do. Right. This would be the best representation of it. You know what I mean? I'm competing. You get to see what I got going on. Right. So he was there, and he probably had no idea what what he was watching or anything about skating. And he was fully supportive. Like, after came up to me, like, ah, you know, like, you did great, da 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 And then that was the start of it. That's beautiful. Yeah. That so he made the initiative to come out and see me at that event. That was huge, yeah. I love that. Shout out to um, Pops. Hey. Shout All out right. to Pops, yeah. All right. We're going to do a trivia question. All right. You ready? Yeah. Do you like trivia? Sure. <laughs> uh, where did skateboarding originate? I can give you multiple choice. Damn, what the heck? Venice Beach, probably? Oh, well, th- this is easy. A, Australia, B, United States, C, Brazil, D, New Zealand. I like the U.S. Okay. Ding! I got it? Yes, good Sweet. job. <laughs> so as a gift, we have a Ooh. Sluggers. Wow. 
This is um Slug. I will yeah. Oh. These are the most fire joints if you want to open it. I'm just like fascinated with the package. Right. Man, I, I should open it. Right. Huh? The marketing <laughs> is A1. Ooh, let's go. A. Don't play with it. I know you like to smoke. Oh yeah. <laughs> You already know. So these, um, this is collectible cannabis. Wow. Each of their joint packs come with a collectible card. Okay. Uh, that's actually one of their most popular ones. If you want to open it and read the little slogan on the no card, way. okay, that'd be amazing. Yeah, let's check it but out. But all their joints are juiced. They're like infused it. with hash, diamond, check and it. keef. Aww. And they come in over twenty strains. Damn. Let's go. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm opening this right here. Yeah. I expected it to be a playing card, low key. Oh, really? This is sick, yeah. <laughs> I'm down for this. You got it, you got it. <laughs> Childproof, huh? Right. I hate that when you when you have a joint that you can't open. And you're all anxious. Like, when you're driving, you're like, dude, all I want to do is smoke yeah. right now. <laughs> and it's childproof, it's all bad. Okay, sluggers, we got five in here, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, that wasn't too bad. I got that <laughs> first try. A little card, right? Back. Look like a Pokemon or something. Oh, there's, right? a, there's a weed nose on the back. That's a gassy weed nose. <laughs> for sure. Um, ooh, was good. the slogan on that card? The slogan. The first joint of the rest of your life. Is that the slogan, Shiana? If you grow it, they will come. If, if you, you grow it, they will come. That's fire. <laughs> there we there go. you go. There we there go. We go. Okay, okay. You actually mind handing me one of those? Because I'm trying to. Yeah, let's go. Come think. on. Let's do it. And of course, we only have one lighter per usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at this. Oh, it's got, uh, what is this, like, keep all over it, huh? Yeah, do you like, do you like, um, infused joints? Absolutely. Bless you. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Are you a blunt smoker or a joint smoker? I've been smoking a lot of blunts lately, man. Um, I, I like to hit bong bowls. Okay. I'm just like a, a bong dude. I carry my bong all around the house and For I wake sure. up, hit the bong, get my day going. I feel you. You know what I mean? I feel you. I know I saw it. wasn't the, always like that, but yeah. Yeah. I saw the uh, video you did with Hemper. Hemper's the one that connected me with you. Shout out to Hemper, man. I know For real. Her love. Shout out to For real. That's crazy. You want this back? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We got two. We're good. Oh, okay. You're good. You're good. Woo. Joint cheers. Hey. Normally it's a blunt cheers, but we joint Damn. cheers. Damn. Yeah. Okay, I gotta give this to you now though. I learned that from Big Chief, by the way. Shout Wait, out to really? Big Chief too. Yeah, blunt cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So since you like blunts, this is Al Capone. Oh my god. These are premium leaf wraps. Like, wait, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And they have some cigars in there. There's an electronic lighter in there. Damn. Yeah. I saw you say your girl taught you how to roll blunts. Can we talk about that? Um. Or is that an ex-girl? Sorry. I mean, I never really learned how to roll blunts. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh. To be honest, like like I said, I went on the Big Chief podcast the other day, and he was like, "All right, you're gonna roll your own blunt while we do this." And I was like, "Man, that's a lot of pressure it. for them." That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is, uh, someone was fortunate. I was fortunate enough to someone did roll me a blunt. Oh, nice. Because that would have just took way too long. Yeah. So I said that to say I'm still. Got I'm you. Still getting it. I'm still working. What do you like to it. roll with? Uh, what do you mean? Like, oh, like paper wax? Uh, blunts, you said, right? So do, yeah. you, do you like backwards? Do you like Grab a backwards. Okay. Well, yeah. See, grab is like the harder one, though. Yeah. Like when the leaf, don't you feel like the leaf is harder to roll? I like a backward, yeah. Yeah. Or um, loose leaves are cool, too. Mm. Yeah. They're popping right now. Yeah, loose leaves are lit. They make hella money. Hell yeah. Um, oh, this is sick right here. Okay. Yeah. There's an electronic lighter. Mm. Cognac dipped. <laughs> <laughs> Cognac. Hey. That's what's up. Thank you so much. Of Shout course. out to Al Capone. Hey. We're going to have some fun with this. Facts. What was that Mountain Dew bag like? <laughs> Mountain Dew bag was crazy. That was a life changing experience. Really? Um, and I learned a lot. Not even just the money side, because they took care of us for sure, but like just under learning the business side of things and the corporate structure. For sure. Understanding that, like, oh, what it means for the corporate structure to dip into the skate culture you know what i mean right. what what that kind of looks like and right. we were on the forefront of that so for sure it was cool yeah how does it feel to be so like just a staple in the skate culture like i appreciate that yeah um, i just feel like i'm getting started i feel like i'm really yeah 
I love that. I That's like what I'm I say. I'm like, I'm just getting started, bro. This is just the yeah. Beginning. Like I'm fortunate. I have the connections, and you know, I've been able to network with so many amazing individuals that own brands and stuff. You know, in high places or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, like every day, I just feel like I'm getting started. I'm learning so much every single day. You know, you're like, oh, I missed that. Oh, I didn't even think that. Right. And your perspective changes and stuff too. So. Right. It's just cool to see where it can go. You know. What was the process behind going pro? What was that like? And was well, that always the goal? Uh, when I first started skateboarding, I like I said, I just started skateboarding because I wanted to feel the feeling. I just I wanted to get familiar with because I saw people skating outside and I was like, what is that? I want to see what what that's about. I want to feel that and see like just rolling and alling up curbs and stuff. How the fuck did they do that? Right. You know. Um, what was your question? Oh, shit. What was my question? You seen, oh, yeah. the process behind going pro. Literally, oh, that's me all day, process. bro. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why <laughs> I originally stepped on the board. But the process is um, first you start, you know, getting skate product, you know. If we look at it like a cannabis aspect, like brands that give you product, you know, and you post for them and stuff, and that's the mutual trade. You're getting your name out there. They're promoting you. That's how you they're, they're blowing your name up and yeah. you're sharing their product, right? So it's win-win. Uh, then maybe you start to get a little um, nicer on the board, right? And uh, start to excel. Then now you, you may be lucky to get on a team, right? With right. a group of people on a team. And that team makes up a brand. And that team is going to market the brand. And that's what brings the brand money, sales, right? It feeds the whole ecosystem. So right. now you're on the team. It's a little more serious. You're traveling. You're doing all this stuff, right? Your name. You're included on the flyers and stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah. So then you go from there on the team, da 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 da, da. Then if you work hard enough and you put them 10,000, 12,000 hours in, whatever it is, right? After that, they may notice, oh, shit, you can sell a product with your name on it. Uh, Let me put Shirley on something. Right. Because her name's so powerful now that she, with just her name, we're able to market our products. And now we can make this thing go. Hell yeah. And so now you got your brand sales, say Shirley. We can use Shirley Temple as an example, right? Hey, manifest, manifest. The drinks, right? Yeah. And then so now after that, you know, you build your name and, and now you're able to get a royalty off that. Crazy. You know what I mean? Okay, so you're still getting royalty off the products that you have? Um, I do have some signature products out, yeah, but mostly uh, what I'm working on now is We Are Wolves. We Are Wolves, brand. His, his brand? Yeah, We Are Wolves because there's a wolf inside of all of us, Hell yeah. you know? Um, and We Are Wolves is just about pushing through, man persevering no matter what you know Hell yeah. like you said life is is tough so it is you just gotta stay strong Fact. yeah wait this is the perfect time oh shit i'm sorry this Let's is just go. so dope so this is we are wolves custom engraved that's crazy i'm telling you it's a little heavy so be careful so this is from buzzbox um they specialize in smart and safe storage for cannabis and cannabis accessories um you know how the b makes the buzz sound <laughs> it ties into the buzz you get from cannabis. No way. Oh my bad. Yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Please second roll. I know, right? I <laughs> this is insane. Right? Wow. And Thank they're you. environmentally conscious. Wow. Um, so everything is made of bamboo. Damn. It's right? got a lock on it too. I low key want one. I'm kind of jealous. Yo. <laughs> shout out to Buzzbox. Shout out to you. Yeah. Look shout out to that. Shirley's Temple. Damn. Hey. Appreciate y'all for real. Isn't it dope? So I could open this one. How do I open yeah, it? Just yeah. pops. Uh, you pop the square on the right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, that was nice. Right? <laughs> New car smell. <laughs> Facts. Mm. Oh, whoa. What is this thing? It's, dude. How do I... Wait. Hold on a sec. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even yeah. see that there. <laughs> so when we hit him with the <laughs> nice. bar like that, it's going to be nice in the office, man. Facts. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. I think that's just actually... What are you saying, Damon? Oh, secret, secret that, Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Damon is a true stoner, and I feel like real stoners can relate. Hell yeah. Because it just be a lifestyle. This thing's sick, man. What the heck right? is the bee right there? Nah, he's right about the secret stash, though. For sure. <laughs> um, How much you smoke in a day, Nick Tucker? Damn. You out of me, huh? <laughs> I, I've gotten a lot of crazy answers on Shirley What are, like, I don't even know, like, because... I don't know measurements and stuff. I, I don't either. That's a, that's real. Like if I'm around the homies, like we probably smoke five to ten blunts. Okay. What right. But if we're to? not smoking blunts, blunts aren't all the time, right? Blunts are like a nice treat. 
You know, I don't just. They are. I save those. I'm like, oh, fine after the end of the day. Right. If I'm lucky, you know. So I appreciate that. But I feel you. It's probably about seven grams of it. Seven grams? Because uh, if it's like one. Yeah, I'm bad with the measurements. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like 10, 10 joints. Yeah. If we're not smoking blunts. And then, but I, like I said, I, I like to smoke bong rips. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to pack the bong. Damn. Have fresh, clean water, you know what I mean? You got to do a trivia question so you can hit that bong. Yeah. All right. Ready? What was skateboarding initially called? A, street surfing. B, sidewalk surfing. Sidewalk surfing. Damn. See, I made these easy for you. I'm just saying. So that you could celebrate. <laughs> I love this. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay. So that, I don't. Sick jar. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You want to grab that? I'm gonna put all my weed in these things. Wait, okay. Not bad. I'm in my own oh, world. No, I'm fine. still, I'm still tripping. Oh no, you're good. You're cold. good. Yeah, Damn, that's a dope. I just feel like we thing. need to get you on the bong, you know. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's bong get to it. tip. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Of course. So this Appreciate is from this. MJ Arsenal. Okay, yeah, I'm like, I'm so glad Nick can handle this week because people come on Shirley Temple and be. They get too stoned and shit. They just be what saying they smoke and they don't smoke. Fall out the chair and stuff. I love, dude. This is. Well, you got to understand, like, skateboarding as an athlete, I'm constantly sore. And I've been doing right. it for my whole damn life, right? right? So, like, it helps. It honestly helps me with no, muscle soreness fat. and muscle recovery. Yo, like, physical pain? Yeah. Just, no. I'm always in pain. Re damn, really? So, I'm always smoking. You wake up in the morning like, damn, it actually hurts. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Ankles be cracking and stuff. Right. I know the skaters can relate to this. You right. know, I know athletes can relate. But, yeah. Right. Uh, that's mostly why, I, yeah, I'd be smoking the bong bowls because it's sure. very convenient and yeah. helps with the soreness. I love it. And gets the mental right. For sure. 1,000%. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're sore all the time, but you ain't ever broken a bone? I was going to say that next. Yeah, I've never. Way to ruin it. No, nah, I've never broken a bone. I was literally going there. I, I, it's crazy. I broke, I feel like I, I messed up my pinky. This is like the the craziest. Actually, no, this isn't the craziest. I'm, I'll get back to it, but. <laughs> I was. Um, I know you hurt your big toe and you were out for ten months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was flipping boards around because uh, I just launched a, a hundred boards or whatever. So I was going trying to eye out each board, make sure we are all wolves, good. limited edition. Yeah, hundred. And boards. I smashed my finger, but I was working, so it was productive. It's all good. <laughs> and, but it's funny because I wasn't skating. I was doing something skating, but I did hurt my foot eleven months ago, pretty much going on a year. And I've been skating the past like three months solid. Really? So I was out for pretty much a year. Yeah. How? So that is my. Uh, most crazy. How did injury. you hurt it? Um, my board landed on it, and then my foot landed on top of my board. So it just double whammy. And then it was like a uh, turf toe. It's what they call it, like turf toe. So basically, you jam the shit out of your toe. How did you? Has that happened to you? And your never, ever, ever. And the I was first? on crutches, and I've never been through this. I've been so lucky, so fortunate. Yeah. Can so I just got, I just got back on the board not that long ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you talk about you throwing the first pitch at the Padres game on crutches? <laughs> Bro, thugging it out. Dude, I don't know. I, I just That's that's I was like, wow. Like if I given if, it. If, if if given that opportunity, I feel like I had to absolutely. do it no matter what. Like Are you a Padres fan? Oh, absolutely okay. a Padres fan. Nice. Yeah. I mean a baseball fan. I'm a baseball fan. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. Yep, yep. Nice. Um, but yeah, I just felt like that's if big. I'm giving this We're not opportunity. Dumb that down. That yeah, I big. can't I can't pass this up. I can't postpone it yeah. i gotta make sure i show my ass up and i gotta i gotta show up yeah did they just reach out to you they reached out yeah um they're like hey they didn't even say anything about the opening pitch they said hey you want to come watch a game i was like oh How? that's crazy on instagram? oh just on instagram san Diego padres reached out that's shout out to daryl dean as well yeah he wants to stay low-key but yeah 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 that's my bro i respect the low-key um yeah yeah so <laughs> he set it up they reached out, put me in a hotel. I'm thinking I'm just watching the game. I got to bring my family out. It's super Aww. dope. Got VIP treatment. The night before, they're like, hey, guess what? We got a surprise for you. Tomorrow morning, you're throwing up in the opening pitch. The night before? And I'm in crutches, and I'm in a wheelchair, all this stuff. And I'm just thinking I'm going to just come kick it. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you have your outfit ready? Um, No. I mean, oh, like the one I was going to wear? They, yeah. Oh, that was another thing. They blessed me with my own jersey. Oh, wait. It had Nick Tucker on the back? Yeah, a Padres jersey, and they let me pick my own number, and they put Tucker on the back. Like an official. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn. Well, you have time to practice that throw or nothing. Did you have time? Well, like I said, um, they let me know the night before. Right. But, like but I kind of had an idea. 
Okay. So really? I was like, yeah, I was like, hmm. Because they did say they have a surprise for me. Uh-huh. I don't know if uh, I'm going to get a jersey or what it, something cool like that. Yeah. I've been hyped just on that, you know what I mean? But they did the, the whole nine. So uh, I didn't really know. And, yeah, um, I, I was able to just throw a ball around in my living room. Like this. Yeah. And I was on crutches. So I, and I was muscle atrophied. Like, I hadn't been moving around doing nothing. So I was fragile and weak and just Damn. like trying to throw this ball and not let it land on my head, trying to catch it, you know, and just like, all right, I threw 10. A real 10. baseball? Yeah, I was like, all right, I threw 10. Like, I should be good. Hopefully yeah. when I get there, I'll be good. And that was like really it. <laughs> That's crazy. It works. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. That's crazy. No, you're good. How did uh, how did being still affect you? Did it affect your mental health? Um, I know for me, being still, like, I fractured my wrist in a car accident once. And I had a cast, like, it was just, it was, it was like, depression times 10 you know like that yeah. shit is terrible it does kind of dawn on you it dawned on me when i realized damn i gotta really sit my ass down because you skate every day yeah every day right yeah every day and so i was like damn this is kind of this is this is a serious thing right now like and you know after getting x-rayed and I, thankfully nothing was broken but they were like yeah bro you gotta you're doing too much dude you gotta damn. chill and so i had to take it upon myself you know, thankfully I had a nice, nice weed and right, stuff yeah. and good food and nice. you know, good people around me and yeah. stuff. So it, it kept me uh, distracted and I wasn't too bummed out. Yeah. You know? Is that when you got the idea for like the podcast and stuff? That is when I got the. That's well, amazing. The idea for the Wolf House podcast has been in my mind for three years now. Oh yeah. And then because you got injured, you were able to actually do it? And because I got injured, I was like, you know what? What else can I do? This is a great opportunity. I love it. To keep my mind busy and do something I've always been thinking about, right, and also to to be able to connect with people and still be in the in For the sure. in the skate world, you know what I mean. I was gonna say I think I what I love about your podcast is just like both the, like y'all's love and passion for skateboarding is so apparent, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, the general idea for the podcast, the reason I started it is because like yeah, I, I am fortunate to know people who are company owners and stuff like that, people like you, you know what I mean, yeah. and so. How we all relate. I'm a skateboarder. How the hell am I in this industry, in this world? You know what I mean? It's yeah. because we all can relate to skateboarding in some way, shape, or form. Right. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe even if you haven't even stepped on a board, you can still find some sort of something can relate to it. For know? sure. It's like going to the gym or something. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Throughout your career, have you ever had moments of, like, wanting to quit or it got, like, That'll happen all the time. I feel like that's normal. Um, What is the reason? You could get burned out. You could just get, you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you could get burned out. But I've always resorted back to, like, find that feeling when you first started skateboarding. Or, like, that's another reason why I started the podcast, because that felt like, learning the first ollie or the first kickflip. Damn. Figuring out how I can sit down with someone and have a fluent conversation is just like learning a kickflip. Damn. Yeah. I in feel like mind, learning a kickflip is a little harder. In my mind. Well, someone would say the same thing, running a, doing a podcast, all this, setting right. all this up. They couldn't even wrap that their head around it. That is interesting. We're know? always, like, yeah. interested in, like, diff- like, things we're not doing, you know? Because mm-hmm. to me... Like I said, I just have the utmost respect because watching you skateboard is like surreal. Like I don't know, I'm just like, how yeah. do y'all really do that? That's thank you. Insane. Yeah, inspiration is everywhere, man. It's beautiful. For sure. Yeah. One thousand percent. I gotta hit this. Dude. I know. I do it. Do it. Bomb. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. So MJ Arsenal, um, they're a leader in compact and functional glassware designed to elevate your smoking and dabbing experience. Oh. Um, yeah, it's made with the highest quality glass. It's made to last. And I got a little little gift for you, but you could uh, hit it. And got a blast. Right. <laughs> it's like the first 14 milliliter. Um, yeah, he really does take bong rips. That's, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, Slim. Damn, he really sorry. does this, y'all. My bad, Slim. Yeah. <laughs> You're used to this, probably? Right. I'm, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, I. Wow, I'm gonna take a mini one. I think I may have gotten all the greens, but you can. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Sorry. I actually prefer people get greens. My bad. Because I'm like, I don't want to, you know. But anyways, how do you feel? I feel great. 
Oh yeah, you got some, you some milkage. <laughs> right. And shout out to uh, we're we're smoking not the plug weed. Oh shout yeah, out shout out to, to not the plug. They actually have those chronic cocktails right there. Oh shit. Yeah. Should we check them out. Woo. Sheesh. Have you tried this? I haven't. No. These are new. Oh, we're getting sheesh. the exclusive. What does it taste like? Uh, so that that's the tequila and, and pineapple mango. Wait, they got alcohol in them? Damn. I, I feel got like a that feeling. Was... I know, right? Tonight's I'm like, gonna be a good night. Ay. I'm gonna save this, man. I love it. I'm gonna save this for tonight. Hey. Oh yeah, you're skating. Do you always go smoke before you skate? Um, it depends. depends I would imagine it's day. funner. <laughs> Cause a reason I smoke can or I use cannabis is also for anxiety, you know? So if I wake up and I'm anxious or I'm in the middle of skating and I'm starting to get anxious, say like a trick kind of, or I get like a near miss, a close call. I'm like, I almost got hurt or something. Something happened Damn. skating. Or even if, yeah, just any type of nervousness, I may smoke before skating. Right. But then there's days where I wake up chilling. And I'm like, let's get it. And we skate and we go through it. And I'm like, let me just smoke at the end of the day. Yeah. So it just it just depends on how I the day that. goes. Yeah. Those options. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Chili Simple has to focus on mental health. How are you doing? How's your mental state? I would like to say I have pretty good mental health you know I'm a positive person I try to uplift people around me obviously I fall into those little ruts every so often like yeah. you know being injured and stuff like that totally um but I don't know this sounds cliche I I use the mentality like we are wolves I swear like that as long as I can try to stick through this and just hold on a little longer I'm gonna most likely get through the shit. I'm gonna land the tray flip. I'm gonna land the kick flip. I'm Damn. gonna do the trick that I've been setting out to film or been trying to film for a long time. Yeah. So I kind of use that mentality for myself. For sure. The skate mentality for, you know what I mean? Yeah. If that makes sense. But for um, sure. I would say overall, I'm good. And I would say um, mental health is very important. And that should come first, no matter what type of money you're making, no matter Facts. what situation you're in. Focus on your mental health first. For Absolutely. Sure. I think I saw on B Will's podcast you said you have ADD and OCD. For sure. Is that for real? Like you were diagnosed or you just Oh, that's like a self diagnosis. Right. Same, same, <laughs> same. I feel you. I um, feel you on that. But definitely I have AD ADD for probably what is it, ADHD? I got all of them probably, man. Same. That's <laughs> how know? I feel, literally. Yeah. Like, like um I feel you. <laughs> and cannabis helps with that too. Absolutely. It helps me um compartmentalize my thoughts and really, you know put stuff and put the plan together where it's not so scattered. Definitely. Yeah. Where do you feel like it comes from? Like as a kid, you always just. I don't really know. Honestly, I think exposure, like life exposure, like just being around certain situations and being exposed to certain things. And like, um, what I mean by that is just the trials and tribulations, you know, like certain things maybe happen with you know growing up with parents and like uh even like down to the business of stuff like skate politics in the industry I feel you. you know what i mean there's politics like, in every industry in every industry so egos yeah all that people you thought you know were gonna be a certain whatever but you don't want to put expectations on stuff either right. so that's just kind of how i free flow yeah i love that mm -hmm. i feel like you are a very positive person like even what you post um, cause a lot, I'm sure a lot of people look up to you, like that want to be you one day, you know? Yeah, it's love. Are you spiritual at all? Uh, I would say I'm pretty spiritual. Yeah. Um, I believe in frequencies and energies for Dang. sure. I believe in, um, what you can call coincidences and, you know, stuff like that alignment, sure. things that align, which you just really can't explain. So for sure I'm spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Trivia question. Hell yeah. All right. What is the name of the first skateboarding magazine? A, the quarterly skateboarder. B. Where is he? Feeling where are you? <laughs> What's the Did... first skate magazine, bro? Okay. A, the quarterly skateboarder. B, skateboard monthly. C, Thrasher. D, the skateboard mag. I know what he's going to say, actually. What? He's going to say Thrasher. Nah, it's Big Brother, I think. 
Is Big Brother on there? Did you say Big no, Brother? No, the quarterly skateboarder. That was the first one. Oh, shit. Yeah. You learned something every day? Hey. Here we go. <laughs> I'm really excited because this is actually a skateboard yeah, from Looper. Go. Shout out to Looper in the building. Wow. I know. I'm so excited to give this to That's you. what's up. And then this is from them Welcome as well. Welcome to Looper. So Looper Sorry? is made. Looper is for those who are seeking the ultimate release. So feel free to open. We got some goodies in there. <laughs> What is this? He's like, wait. <laughs> you said that it, it, a little too. It, <laughs> so see. it's where innovation meets curiosity. Um, they actually have a zero gravity environment that gives you the ultimate lifting effect, which is perfect because I feel like you are zero gravity. You defy gravity. <laughs> but So I thought you were gonna, this was going to be like some mushrooms or something. Oh, crazy. wait. That's how I looked at you. I was like, <laughs> wait, do you fuck awesome. with the shroom? This is awesome. I don't really do mushrooms. What? No. I feel you would love them. I heard like microdosing is really good, right? They I said think there's, there's, is there some dots in there? Man, this is cool. Hemp B9, straw, oh, just look, apple. Okay. Dots? What it was? Oh, no. We'll get you the dots later. Bless. Wow. <laughs> but Thank you. Yeah, so uh, their vape. live batter disposable vape pens are their best seller. Do you like vape pens? Because yeah. these are really tasty. If you want to try one. I'm down. We can pop one open. Yeah, they're disposable too. This I just one? really like when they're disposable. Yeah. This looks like a good one. Is, is that the right one? Oh no, other one. Not this one. <laughs> Batter. Okay. Indica. Yeah, we're in the couch. Why not? I know, right? Oh yeah, indica or sativa. Oh wait. This is indica. Same. Indica same. hybrid. We on the same team. What is it? Hybrid dominant indica. Five times? Wait, that one's really pretty. I just saw the colors. That's fire. Purple yeah. for Shirley's Temple. You see what we're doing. There you go. <laughs> then just push it down. Oh, yeah, I think it's a bomb. Yo, that's happened to me so many times. When you accidentally... Another childproof. Bro. I'd be sucking ah. like, bro, where? Where? Here we go. <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> hey. Damn, that was sick. I was trying to hit a blinker. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. That was fire. There we go. Shout out to Looper. How physically taxing is skateboarding on your body? And how many hours do you skateboard a day? Um, I skate just throughout the whole day. Like it could be like six to twelve out. Like it could be all day. Like we pulled all nighters, you know, like we were out skating a skate spot and we had the lights and the generator out kind of like this. And uh, yeah. even to the point where the generator dies, like we go fill it up with a full tank of gas, like a car. And then we skated so long, we're so tired out, the thing dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. So pulled all nighters. But Damn. Um, as of lately, like I said, I've been getting back into it and just been so fortunate to even just be rolling and jumping on my board again but um it's been like every other day so wow. it's been really nice yeah yeah so how physically taxing is it physically taxing as long as you make sure to recover like you have to really go through that recovery process because i feel like a lot of people they just skate and skate and skate and skate and then they'll get to the point where they have to sit down or like right. you know their body's like hey so as long as like especially coming up as a younger person coming up as a skater um make sure you're icing stretching you know i'm not trying to like preach but like no that's those are very, very important good you know tips. jump in that ice bath yeah and, and listen to the the ogs you know like you see a lot of this going down like people are using the leg compression pants like i use those oh, yeah, like yeah, all yeah. the time yeah. shout out to compex and like uh what does that do it just it, it uh compresses and decompresses so you're basically giving yourself a massage oh, it's wow. bringing healthy oxygen flow into your nice. into your muscles and your blood. Nice. So that, that creates the healing process, yeah. speeds it up, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Do you usually get sore in your legs cuz you're always Yeah, I'm hella tall too, so like my knees will be hurt and yeah, my legs definitely hurt. Damn. So like I said, I'll jump in those pants and it feels awesome. Yeah, smoke a joint, jump in those pants. Yeah. How tall are you? 6 2 3. Did you ever try to hoop? No, nah, I was like my brother, my big brother uh, did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh I just stuck to skateboarding. I did, however, end up trying every sport boxing football oh, wow. basketball soccer like baseball you know yeah. all that until i fell in skateboarding and that stuck 
What would life have been if you never skateboarded? What would you be doing right now? Sheesh, that's a scary thought. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't even want to know. I'm happy to be here. We right. could say that. <laughs> right. You know, it could have went left, right, up, down. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about you not even finishing high school? Damn, you... What, <laughs> what you got on there? Yo, I just think it's so interesting because... It, I mean, obviously, education is important, but there's is. not everyone's path has to be that in order to be great. I don't you feel believe, me? Yeah, I don't believe that, ed, you know, s school is for everybody. I don't believe education is for everybody, but I do believe that you should act, you should give it a try and you should really try your best to um, to stay focused. And, and if you need to go that path, you know, that can definitely be for you. But for me, uh skateboarding kind of took hold and um, right. I started getting sponsored opportunities uh, to kind of remove myself and take myself to other places and get out of my neighborhood essentially um, and you you know uh, finances and stuff like that being able to like you know like I said help my family and things that's, like that um, that's everything to be able to take care of your mom yes like so and I would come to school and like I would have like new clothes and you know like new shoes and I'd be giving people shoes my friends and stuff so it was like a little different so like I feel like maybe for me like it was kind of looked at as like hey man you're doing you're doing good like go ahead we want to allow you to spread your wings see what you can do yeah and you know and that's, that's awesome. kind of the path I took and right. it, it's been working out so I'm, I'm fortunate how did you, how did it feel getting sponsors in middle school? Like when you, like your peers are probably like, what the hell? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had like mentors, like shout out to Brian Emmers and, uh, you know, like a lot of other people, you know, that were just kind of showing me the way. So awesome. I kind of grew up at a young age. That sounds crazy. But yeah, I grew up at a young age. For sure. Because I had the experience, you know, and, and these guys would put me on game I guess you could say right so um they would trip out because they're like bro like we're teaching you all this stuff and and bringing you along and you're already like tapping into these things and you're somehow becoming marketable and these brands are are noticing this and so you know it was cool because they actually fueled my fire even more like hell yeah they encouraged me even more they they saw that I had potential and, and lifted me up to to the point I am now, you know. So that's awesome. Yeah, it could have went any other way too, you know. Right. So shout out to them for real. How did it feel like just gaining pop popularity? Like, was it ever too much? Like, um, I guess like attention, too much attention can be too, you know, yeah. can be overwhelming. Sure. Uh, and I would say I could have reached like a little bit of a burnout as far as like, um, wanting to play the game. Mm -hmm because I realized that it was important for me to get back to the roots and the real, the, the, the beginning feeling of when I first started. Yeah. And that really helped ground me and uh, kind of reel everything back in so I can sort of reset. For sure. Without crashing and burning. Cause a lot of people they'll burn out, you know? Yeah. So yeah. What was that moment that you were like, oh damn, I'm, I'm actually good at this shit. Like. <laughs> Um, like like I said, when like my mentors were starting oh, okay. to like Notice. bring me around and stuff, and then like so they would bring me around like the brand owners or whatever, oh, wow. and, and then they would start hooking me up. Yeah, you know, just off the strength of my mentors bringing me around, and I guess them seeing that oh this dude actually does have talent, like shit. So that's kind of how that started. That's awesome. All right, trivia question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, who is considered the godfather of modern, modern street skateboarding? A. Rodney Mullen, B. Tony Hawk, A. C. Mark Gonzalez. Did you say Tony Hawk? It was Mark Gonzalez. Oh, that? Okay, I, I agree Wait, with that one. I agree is that, that like a subjective? I agree with that one. Wait, why are you laughing? There's like Tom Penny. Oh. Oh, damn. So, uh, okay, you're right. <laughs> Gons is legit, though. For street, because he was the first one really hitting rails. So that's yeah. like. My guy. And I know. I'm like. We got a skater in the house. Right. <laughs> uh, for your sore muscles. Bless. We got you uh, Bluebird Botanicals. So wow. these are CBD gummies. Amazing. We got. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is CBD lotion. Fire, fire. Here you go. Topical, topical. Yes. Nice for sure. CBD oil. What do you think of that? I know, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
That makes me so happy. So Blue Boar Botanicals has uh, made it their mission to make the world a happier place mm -hmm. by providing the most effective botanical supplements that nature can provide. They also really do support mental health causes, which I'm so grateful that they support my show. Um, but yeah, they're fire, um, you know, when you're sore. And, you know, do you believe in CBD? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I believe, yeah, CBD um, is definitely beneficial. For sure. For sure. What is the hardest trick you've ever had to do? I think it was the one where you went back to Santa Monica like seven or eight times. <laughs> is that the one? Yeah, that's definitely the one. What is the trick? Because any of those. I Santa couldn't Monica recite it. So you you tricks. say the trick. <laughs> um, Say it with me. I, I could not recite it. I literally got kidding. two words and I was like, wait. It's like alien talk. I know it is. Um, Tray flip, nose manual, nollie late flip. So basically there's. Y'all know what that is? A stage in oh, DJ, Santa Monica. They're all nodding. Okay. Oh, they know that too? Yeah, they know they damn. Should. All right. But yeah, it's like a big stage thingy, and you got to pop up to it, whatever, and go across on two wheels, and then, so flip up to two wheels, and then flip off. Damn. Basically, yeah. So talk about just, because even Vinny was saying, like, skateboarding is literally trying something over and over and over and over and failing, and just like, you know. It's I'm so good at failing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So basically skateboarding. <laughs> oh, this is dope though. Okay, so skateboarding, <laughs> you're basically sitting here and you're trying this one thing over and over and over and over. And every try you could be getting close, you could almost do it, or you could be getting completely nowhere close. <laughs> right? Going the opposite direction. But for whatever odd reason. I don't even know how this manifests, but forever, whatever our reason you believe you can land it. And then that's the vision you see. And so no matter what, through that, those trials and tribulations, those trials, you not making it, all the only thing you're thinking about is the land, which is manifestation. Right. Right. So we can talk, go back to spirituality. Right. Anyways, to make this story, this, this short, um, I believe skaters are very strong manifestors because we sit there and we fail and all we believe in is the end result. And somehow, a lot of the times we end up landing that trick. Really? Do most of them eventually land it? Eventually. I mean, you have to go through the motions of learning the basics, you know, building your way up on the obstacles and stuff, and then putting the two and two together, applying that. Do you ever feel but, like it's a luck thing? Or is it all timing? I think it's timing, it luck, muscle memory. Okay. Um, you know, and just magic. <laughs> <laughs> It's all that. A little bit of magic. Put together, yeah. Skill, of course. You right. Know? Yeah. So how did it how did it feel to get it on the eighth try? It was the eighth time. Oh, it was the eighth trip back. The eighth trip back. Yeah. That's crazy. So driving eight times to the spot. And are is are you being recorded this entire time because you could potentially land that in one of those times? So yeah, every time we get to the spot, the cameras turn on. You know, after you warm up and stuff, kinda like uh working out, you're warmed up, you're ready. Yeah. Now you're ready to get to the stuff or whatever. Then the cameras come out. But you may do it in the first few tries, like three tries. That is luck. Or but that could be muscle memory because you practiced that trick for so much. And then, boom, it worked out, right? Because you were comfortable. But Or you could be sitting there for freaking all day, like six hours from sun up to sun down. Then have to drive home and come back. So, yeah. You after drive home all defeated. After doing that for... For eight different times, yeah, we were fortunate to to walk away from the trick, yeah. How do you guys celebrate? <laughs> Is it like probably with a the joint, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, because I don't really drink or nothing like that. I don't right. really party too much. Probably just hang out with That's some good. some good people and smoke some good weed, right? Yeah, eat some that. good food. Oh yeah, what, I was gonna say, what was your what's your go to meal before skateboarding? Probably something a little light because you don't want to be too heavy on right. the board. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Something light for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trivia question? Yeah, let me get this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is the name of the iconic skateboarding movie that was released in 1965? <laughs> oh, shit. You good? <laughs> Luca got me. Hey, and we got you your own. Oh, wow. Muhammad in the building is going to hook you oh, up. I appreciate yes. you. Because I feel like you, of all people, will actually really cool. fucking appreciate this. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, damn. They got these appreciate little pods. That. This is Just Vibes, Zone In, Get Zen. 
This is teaching my language. Mm, okay. Right? <laughs> he said thank you. The homie real, said thank real. you. I'm dead. It's going in the office. He already knows. Right. Yep. Oh, in the office? In the I wolf love house. that. This will be in the wolf house. This will be on my we're... podcast probably. Hey. See how that, that goes? Right. <laughs> Appreciate right. that. Right. Of course. Um, what is the name of the iconic skateboarding movie that was released in 1965? A, Lords of Dogtown. B, Thrashing. That one. C. C. Lords of Dogtown? Dude, I need, someone needs to fact check my fucking trivia question. Oh, Skater Dater. That's the one. Yeah. That is, that is, that is. Bro, I'm gonna need y'all to fucking review my trivia questions because every trivia question I do, y'all fucking just go in on it. Those were great though. Oh really? Yeah, oh. those were tough, man. Thank I you. didn't know the I was Dogtown all the way. I didn't the, know. <laughs> I love it. Okay. These are my favorite. Are you ready? So these are smoke odor candles. So I'll let you they're so you you fart these after you smoke, it diffuses the weed smoke. I actually got the apple orchard burning. Very nice. But please smell one of them because they smell so good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. Caramel vanilla latte. Let's Yo, go. Yo, that is my favorite. It makes Let's me want to eat it. I'm Great for it. <laughs> like, it's so good. Smell that. <laughs> Did you smell it? Damn, yeah, it's good. Oh, that's nice. I'm like such a scent person. I just... Wow. That's spray. That's so, perfect. Right? For the car. <laughs> For the car, that's these crazy. actually work. So if you, when you're in a hotel and you're in a bind, <laughs> yeah. you're like, yes, that's literally like, how yes, I saved by the bell, right? This is fallen leaves, fire. Hey, okay. So relationships, <laughs> you got a girl? Uh, I'm seeing somebody for sure. Um, I definitely call her my girlfriend. We've we've been hanging out for a while. She's been through, we've been through a lot together for sure. A lot. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what do you mean? I don't know. Relationships are just so interesting because I feel like no matter who you are, you're all, you're going to eventually argue about something. Well, that's like anything, yeah. right? Like friendships and stuff too. Yeah. How did y'all meet? Um, Through a mutual friend. Okay. Does she like skateboarding? Because I know you had a girl that didn't support your skateboard career. I want to talk about how I was did? that. How was that? Right? You were like, my ex-girl didn't get it. My okay. ex-girl would probably be on it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I feel like, you know, it's it's, it's all been, uh, they've all been pretty supportive. Okay. Are like, you a private person? Like, you don't, you wouldn't. I value my privacy, but for sure. I'll tell you whatever you like. I'm open book as well. <laughs> oh, so you met through a mutual friend. Hmm. What yeah. was the first date? First date? Yeah. I was injured. Okay. So that's why I said we've been through a lot together. Okay, okay. Like it was yeah, I've been in I was injured for a while and um there was really no first date. It was more like uh she held me down and she um you know, came up to bat for me, no pun intended. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh Aww. so yeah, that's why I say I didn't mean like, oh, we've been through a lot in a bad way. I'm yeah, saying yeah, like, yeah. you know, for in sure. a good way for sure. She's for been sure. she's been a, a good supporter and we've been building. I love it. Yeah. Um, does she smoke? She smokes, yeah. Nice. She be smoking all my weed. Wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm crying. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta give you this. So this is from Not the Plug. This is what we were smoking. This might be the celebrate that celebratory Ooh, moment. We chronic cocktails too. Hey. Yes. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh. And you're actually gonna Damn, hit their what, what is this, Austin? Oh. Car mystery machine. It's like a gelato blend. Gelato yeah. blend. This That's is what tough. you're gonna hit. The weed is fire, by the way. That's cool, saying. too, right there. Right? Not the plug. Shout out to the merch, too. Hey. <laughs> All right. It's Ooh. it's Toro glass time. So that's what's packed in there already? Yeah. Not oh. the plug. Okay, okay. All gas. This is a nice uh, piece right here. Right? Some purple in there. You feel me? Very nice. You got it. Um, oh, do I have the lighter? Oh, wait. Dang, how do I always forget a lighter? That's crazy. The black is around here somewhere, though. I'm excited to see you melt this. I'm not going to lie. Damn. That's crazy. Ooh, that's nice. Damn. Y'all, do y'all see that? Very nice. That's crazy. You really don't cough. <laughs> 
Can I have this? Yes, no, it's yours. It is yours. It is yours. You're taking it. Really? Yeah, one thousand percent. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you. For real? Literally, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. That seems to be a theme on Shirley Temple. Shit. This is nice. This is nice. Right? It's super smooth. Damn. And I'm a this is peace water. So this go this solution is all natural. It goes in the bong for cleaner, smoother hits, and it prevents resin from building up. So since you love bongs, this is actually you would love this. This is the solution that's inside. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Right? Oh, I was going to ask, because you're part Asian. What Asian are you? Japanese. I love it. Yep, got a little, little Japanese. Beautiful. You know, uh, man, Tokyo, ja Japanese skaters are taking over. I'm telling you guys. Really? In the next few years, man. Shout out to Yuto Horigomi. <laughs> um, yeah, he's an Olympian. Uh, oh, wow. Yes. Skateboarder? But, um, yeah, Olympian yeah. skateboarder, Yuto Horigomi. But uh, Japanese skaters are definitely taking over, so. I'm it. just fortunate to be rocking and, you know what I mean, seeing all this stuff unfold and For sure. being a part of the heritage or whatever, you know. For so, sure. Yeah. It's just, it's about to explode on us. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. All right. Is there anything you want to plug before we get into the uh, Temple 10? Follow me on Instagram, I guess, at Nick Tucker. Nick Tucker across all platforms, really. Um, check out my YouTube. We've been posting on there a lot. YouTube.com slash Nick Tucker, Wolf House Podcast, at The Wolf House Podcast, at We Are W L F P C K, Nick Tucker dot shop. Hey. Link in bio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I'm just kidding. I'm just um, how did you end up skating with Lil Wayne? Through a mutual friend. Okay. Yeah. Um he actually, skateboards. Skateboards, right? Oh, he's he's been skating. He's been getting it for a minute now. Yeah. He's been putting in that work, and that's the thing about skating too. Like you could tell if they're about it or or they're just like kind of posers or they're just trying to culture vulture. You know what I mean? This totally. guy, Lil Wayne, has been putting in work. And I he's love been it. Getting the scars and the shinners and all that stuff. So oh, he's in the game. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's really dope. But uh, yeah, that's through Keelan. Um, you know, he brings me on sessions, and uh, I get to get to skate around Wayne so that's super cool I was even I even was able to give him a we are wolves board I love so that was it sick. yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. that's shout out to Lil Wayne shout out to Keelan hey yeah I love it um oh I was gonna ask did you ever have you ever fanned out oh. uh I secretly fan out but I'm not I'm, I probably wouldn't show it you yeah. know what I mean and, and inside you're screaming yeah I'm just like oh shit you know what I mean this yeah. is crazy holy shit and then, like, you know, yeah, when I gave him the board, the fact he took it, because I was, like, damn, kind of nervous. Like, yeah. what if he says no? Because people give him shit all the time. So yeah. when he took it, I was like, damn, that's amazing. But I just, you know, continue to skate or whatever. And that's my way of, like, paying respect, like, uh, and fanning out is, like, sure. just, like, all right, let me let me do my thing. You're going to do your thing. You're you're a normal person. I don't want to sure. treat you, like, you know, yeah. any in any crazy way, make you feel uncomfortable. For so sure. thank you. You know, you're you know right. I'm gonna keep it pushing. I, I just thought of this. Um, fucking shout out Chanel West Coast. She had Lil Wayne pull up to her birthday. That's epic. But I I met him and I I watched him. His rolling situation. He has like nine joint rollers. Like damn. Just like you know the ones where you, yeah. He has like nine of those. And Must he like be cuts nice. His own leaf. But he has a whole situation. Like I was just like wow. And yeah. he, obviously he doesn't doesn't stop. It's just like continuous. <laughs> roll one, spark one, roll. You know. Yeah. Crazy. That's a that's an amazing life. Right. Imagine that. Right. You just got someone over here. Boop. Right. And you're done. Boop. Right. And that that's like a uh, therapy too, like therapeutic totally. as as well. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If I could skate with a, a joint, that'd be <laughs> that'd be cool. Imagine. I'm sure you can. No, nah, I wouldn't prefer that. Damn. Not like rapping. You can't be in. You can be in the booth with a joint, but right. not on a skateboard. How did you overcome your fear when you were skateboarding? Like it. fear of falling. Come on. Yeah. Aww. Fear of falling is failing so many times, just falling, getting used to falling, you know, and um, learning how to get out of certain situations. And that was inspiring. Okay, Temple 10, you ready? Yep. Um, favorite emoji? Um, the smiling one. <laughs> There's a, a few. The like super <laughs> smiling one. <laughs> favorite snack? Um, snack? Yeah. I don't really be snacking like that. I'm not like a sweets dude. <sighs> Who said that on my show? Like chocolate cake or something. I don't know. That's your favorite snack? That's cool. Wild I guess. Amber Rose says she doesn't snack. 
Uh, biggest pet peeve? Um, like when you have to rush like a project, like a, like if you like that's real. shooting content or something, yeah. and it feels rushed. I think that's kind of a pet peeve. That's real. Yeah. Especially for stoners. Yeah. We're chilling, bro. <laughs> like I know. <laughs> biggest fear. Uh. I don't really know. I don't really like think about fear too much. I just kind of like I look at like the the positive outlook or like try to find the silver linings and even like the negative shit. So wow. I'm not really sitting there like, oh, what if I don't know, like if I lost my legs or some shit. Damn. That would suck. But yeah, that's not gonna. I don't think about that. You yeah. Know? The dumbest bag you ever dropped. Hmm. Uh, Probably like my in and out bag right when I got to my front door, you know? Wait. <laughs> you feel me? Wait. Did it no? Wait, oh, that was okay, that was intentional. Okay. That would suck. You ever like Wait. got all your food and your drink and you finally oh. get to your front door and then you just drop that shit? Damn, I didn't mean You're talking about money, I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I still got to answer it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I guess, like, having to, like, make a decision to leave a sponsor or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. Are they, do, do most, are most of them, do they want exclusivity? I would say for the most part, yeah. Okay. Um, that gets tricky. Yeah, you don't want to, like, step on any toes or anything, you know, you want to. And the people you're rocking with, the the brands you're skating for and you're promoting, those are like uh like those are like you wanna represent those to the fullest. Right. So you don't just wanna have like a bunch of right different outliers, you know what I mean? For sure. Like you keep it like real close knit. It's like How more like do family. They, are you usually with them? Like is it like a few years? Um, I've been with a few brands since I was like real young. And you're still like with almost them? since I started, yeah. Like Diamond for sure. Like Diamond Supply Co. Shout out to Nikki Diamonds. Um, you have your own shoe, right? Yeah, I have my own shoe. He blessed me with that too. Um, since I was like 13, though, he would send me skate. He would send me boxes, big ass boxes of clothes How to San Diego. How did he find you? On MySpace. Oh my gosh, were you posting your content on there? Wait, do they? I don't even can think you, you could that? film video stuff. Oh fuck! How that would work back then? Damn. All right, real he found quick. Found you on MySpace? That's crazy. Yeah, DV. There's like skate conventions and probably saw me on like because there's dvds you would shop around and stuff kind of like rapping like music yeah back then like um and so maybe he saw it or something and then got a hold of me on myspace probably right i think it maybe went down like that i don't know how excited were you ecstatic and i'm still stoked because i still i still get to represent them to this for day for sure i literally have a diamond ashtray in my crib like i got it oh you got the diamond shaped one yeah those things are dope I like yeah. I, you know when you go to fairfax mm -hmm. like for the first time you're in la for the first time yeah like, yeah Damn, diamond yep yep you know yep i love that store too right um that's a cool ashtray because it's super thick good glass like, for sure it's it's literally lasted for like through college like best ashtray ever right <laughs> i love it uh oh, i was gonna ask oh best outfit to skateboard in. whatever you feel comfortable and good in Whatever fits you nice and yeah, you feel like you look good in. Because if you look good, you skate shoes. good. Because you're landing on. Same with the shoes you want, but you want to have like probably thin enough shoes to where you can fill your board, so they're not too bulky. Oh. And you want to say I would like. Why don't people wear padded? Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, but you want to have some padded, like enough padding too, like on the soles and the heels and stuff, so you don't hurt your feet. For sure. Yeah. When you're skateboarding, are you literally like just in the zone, or are you thinking about? Anything about shit. That's why skating's the best. Okay. That's why it's an escape. Right. Yeah. That's true. I can yeah. do that. Okay. No Celeb way. Celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. <laughs> um. He's like. What? I'm just focused right now. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm dialed. Yo, y'all got a celebrity crush. When I'm Come dialed on. in, I'm dialed in. When I'm dialed. <laughs> Who's your childhood crush? <laughs> Damon loves correcting me on that. Um, <laughs> Childhood crush. I'm crying. Sexy red. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, That's hilarious. I have to answer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> you try to get out of two of these questions. What's uh, Saved by the Bell? What, what? Kelly Kapowski. Kelly, yeah. yeah, that one. Got it. Uh, As a childhood crush, yeah. <laughs> uh, ideal date night. Uh, smoke some good weed. Be relaxed. Eat some good food. Early night. <laughs> uh, find a jacuzzi, and you know the rest, and then go to sleep. Favorite sex position? Um, Don't think too hard. <laughs> north south. What? What? North south. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Wait. Oh, on top? When the girl's on top? Right? North south. Missionary. Oh, 69? Got it. First thing that comes to mind, Nick Tucker. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? First thing that comes to mind, Nick Tucker. Me? No. You are so legendary, bro. Come on. Him? Him? Okay. Let's go more descriptive <laughs> words. How would y'all describe Nick Tucker, <laughs> homies? One word. It's hard to talk Amazing. about yourself. That, it is. You know? But very, very humble. I was going to ask that. Okay, before we end, I was going to ask, having been doing this since you were so young, how are you, how do you remain so humble? Uh, thank you for the reminder. I would just say I, I'm, I try to think things through and not react right away and see how things kind of play out. I need to work on that. <laughs> because if you try to control shit, you may disrupt something and that's not what you want to do. Absolutely. So I just sit back and just kind of, I don't know, someone told me uh, you want to let them be still and let the universe move around you, let things move around you, you know? For sure. Shit's going to crash together and blow up and whatever, but you're just going to still be there. For sure. And then, like, you can pop in every so often if you want. If it settles down. Yeah. You got me all stoned and shit. Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, <laughs> damn. Like, what the fuck did he just say? Are you ready to teach me how to do a trick? Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Well, Damon brought... You got skate shoes on. All right. All right. I mean, that's why I was like, am I good? You got to sign a waiver, though, because you... I, I brought my board. I got to sign a waiver? Well, if this, I is, this is your house, actually. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. Let's do You're it. You're really going to do a trick? Oh, you sick. Have you seen those? Do they? They're going to... Yeah, you'll be, you'll be chilling. Because I am not coordinated, bro. These will coordinate so, you. Okay, perfect. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for um, having me on Shirley's Temple. Make sure to tune in. I appreciate you guys. Big love. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. How high are you? I'm high as hell. Appreciate <laughs> you so much. Hey. Look at all this stuff. Hey. And we're going to continue to get stoned. Thanks right. to y'all. For real. <laughs> Facts.